What's up, y'all? We are here. Sorry we are late. That is all on me. But let me go through and let you know who is here today for the season finale of Yes, Informed, Yes. Um, RuPaul's Drag Race season 16 finale. We have Kiss My Cheeks. We have Angela Rache. Hello, beautiful people. We have Ebby Reviews. And we have our special, um, might as well have been on the panel guest, Jamal, <laughs> 84. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Um, as you guys know, El Teddy is out of town this weekend, and it is Dee's birthday. So they may pop in, they may not. But, baby, we're going to go ahead and get this party started. So I don't know. You know what, T? Don't do me. I love you, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... I'm just going to go around the room, kiss my cheeks. I think we already know how you felt about that reunion based on your title. <laughs> I just saw that. Yes. Okay. Um, so do you want to add to that? I don't know. <laughs> when I was, mind you, I was spoiled. <laughs> Twitter is nobody's friend. So I already knew who won before I saw the episode. So I was kind of upset, but I was like, maybe Nymphia might have twirled it or did something. <laughs> Then I actually watched the episode and I said, Rue, you just played all day in my face because nothing that my eyeballs saw justified a win. I'm not saying she didn't do good. I'm not saying she wasn't even up there, but she wasn't better than Safira last night. So, And for me, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. Jamar, how you feel, boo? Ooh. I feel cheated. I feel lied to. I feel bamboozled and hoodwinked. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ab absolutely. I feel you. Um, and and and, and to, you know, go with uh, what uh, kiss my cheek said. I don't want to make this like a bash Nymphia thing mm -hmm. because this is not her fault. It's mm -hmm. not. It's mm -hmm. not her fault. However, come on, Miss uh, Mister Rupal, Rupal Charles, and them over there at the World of Wonder. Why mm -hmm. y'all playing that lady face like that? And did. And did. And did. Well, Angela, how, how do you feel, my love? Um, you know, things happened yesterday on our television screen. <laughs> um <laughs> the storytelling that we have been provided all year or all season, as well as during the course of half of the episode showed us one winner. Um, we got to a point where we saw someone's parent and that person that parent gave more emotion than the than the contestant in one moment than Damn. they did all season. And I knew right then that that person won. And it was a little annoying. I mean, I've been watching forever. I know how this edit works, but there were a couple moments where we knew and I really hated that for us. Abby. I got the new Jankiana perfume. <laughs> <laughs> I got, uh, what's it called? I am her. No, you remind me. That was the only one that of the little ones that was left when I went to the Sephora sale. And it smells really familiar. And I can't put my finger on what it smells like, but it's really good. Also, this is like what came in the mail. The letter, look what came in the mail. Yes. Come on, passport. <laughs> no, I'm so excited. And mm -hmm. your presence will be here next week. <laughs> your gifts will be here next week. I am so excitable. I got one more thing to get. And then I will have to figure out how to pack all your shit in my <laughs> in my suitcase. I'm screaming. Um uh, also she I just she just gonna talk about everything else. Okay. <laughs> I uh, the new elf play that's supposed to be the dupe for the milk. She I just gonna talk about everything. I really, I, mean, like, I really, really like it. Also, one last thing. I got the new Urban Decay Foundation. We I can't wear this until we sit out on the beach because I got it's too deep a color. It's not, it's she. I'm gonna have to get my summer color. I have to get some sun before I can use this appropriately. Otherwise, everybody <laughs> will accuse me of using black face. So, 
Uh, as for this travesty, of <laughs> I didn't watch it. I got spoiled. It is shade 28 medium deep is the shade that a shade matched me to 28 medium deep. I don't know why. I don't know why, Majani. Uh, listen, I don't know. I don't know. But there is a get ready with me with me using it and it doesn't look as bad once I put some lighter concealer and you know how we make it work. But still, in accordance to this this travesty, um, I did not watch the episode. I first of all, I saw the first. I thought I saw the walkout because I saw her. She had posted his walkout when they said the, the queens of season sixteen, and then everybody came out. I saw her. She in that gorgeous blue dress. I was like, oh, beautiful. Not, I was <clears throat> beautiful. Then. I was, and then I saw the chatter begin about, because I didn't watch it last. I, I wasn't going to watch I don't ever watch it the night of. Then I got spoiled on TikTok about who won. And so then I watched the pit stop. And here is what I would like to say. A pox on your house, Trixie Mattel and Monet Exchange. Ugh. A pox on the both of you. Because oh, you pandered to that bullshit the whole time. The whole time. Jamal. <laughs> That y'all wait a minute, on hold on. On wait that minute. TV screen, and you saw Safira Crystal come out in the outfits and then give that performance. <laughs> and you stupid bobbleheaded bitches really thought Nymphia won. Is that what y'all really fucking thought? Abby, they still had to earn a check. No oh, shade. Yeah. No shade. No shade. Wait, where's Bianca? Bring Bianca back. No more tricks. I'm sick of her. I'm sick of her. I'm just, I'm just saying, bitch. He, the, I'm sick of all the difference them. between Bianca, the difference between Bianca and Trixie, Bianca will tell World of Wonder to their faces. I'm going to say what I think, and you're still going to pay me. Trixie, I don't know if she gives that energy. I feel like they said, hey, let's keep it real cute. Not to mention, you know, considering Monet still went there after what they did to her. For All Stars 8, yeah, it's definitely giving, you know what, let me come earn this chat real quick. What y'all want me to say? All right, let me just get through this. She allows people to play in her face and okay with it because we can see because you keep coming back to this bullshit. Huma, I mean, here's the, I, I wouldn't say Monet is letting them play in her face considering Monet is still more paid. I personally think Monet is more popular than Jinx Monsoon in terms of her, like, her popularity power. I mean, aside from, you know, this part, um... I, I think Monet could walk into the rooms and jinx. Came. I had already, I was gonna wait to the end, but I had already because this was my thing. A mandatory meeting this. and a mandatory meeting is me. <laughs> yes, yeah. baby. I couldn't help myself. Listen, I had already looked, I had already downloaded it and I was ready. I had it, I had it uh I was that was gonna be at the end and that like that was how we all felt. Okay. I'm gonna give, um, I'm gonna give one more thing, Loretta, then I'm gonna turn it back over to you. Trixie Mattel, we was already on your motherfucking neck when you stole Shangela's win. You did. You, bitch. You Kennedy's. already on our list. All right? Keep it cute. So, justice you know, oh, this is how I felt about the, Yeah, justice was severe for real. So this is how I felt about the whole situation. Um, I feel like, I mean, I can ditto a lot of what you guys said. My again, my thing is if this was the story you were trying to tell, you did a horrible job telling it. Period. And I knew when and I understand what you said, Jamar. I know you thought we were live, but we weren't live yet when you said it. But I understand what, what you were saying about the story, but my yeah. my attitude my attitude is when we were down to three and they eliminated Plain Jane, I knew then. I said, oh, it's Nymphia. I knew then that it was Nymphia. And then I went back to the episode where Nymphia should have been in the bottom and it was going to be her and Plain Jane. And yeah, there was, you know, miraculously no elimination. The miraculously. Same week, right, the same week as the, the elixir expired. And we were all like, this was a wasted episode. This was, but now it all makes sense. They couldn't afford for either one of them to go home. So it was Oh, you get a free pass. Yay. No. I mean, stupid. the reality. Stupid. Stupid. Go ahead, Jamar. Just, just stupid. Stupid. 
Y'all play no. with like y'all get lazy. We are not stupid. Yeah. Well, we should have all known that the night was not gonna go well when this was Rue's look. <laughs> that, <laughs> she, that wig was a chop. <laughs> yes. That wig is a chop. Like the record to reflect that I said this was gonna fucking happen. That they was, like she was, Safari, they was gonna give Safar Safira all of these wins and all of this other shit, and she was gonna be Miss Congeniality, but they wasn't gonna allow her to win. I mean, that was another that moment we knew episode. that was that was another moment we knew she wasn't gonna win. Here's the team. Safira is the first person to ever be in the top in a winner's contender spot to mm-hmm. win a Miss Congeniality. I didn't even know. The only reason she probably I didn't won, know they were eligible to win. I didn't uh, think they well, could. So we, gotta, we gotta remember, 16 years ago, Nina Flowers was top two. Yeah, and that was did. season one, though. Like, that was, you know, before it was really given anything. No shade, but like, shout out to Nina. But, uh, but to be fair, based on what we've seen from Safira, I bet you, I bet you, all the girls was like, so Safira name not on this list, but it has to be. Like, we not voting without her name on here because what? But here's the thing. The moment they crowned her, Safira, for that one, I said, you're not about to get a lady two crowns. So here we go. I also knew when we got to them songs and only one of them songs is TikTok playable. Only one. Who? What Nymph- song? Nymph- I didn't like song any is- of the songs. So. I didn't like really? them. I, I, like Safira- I like Safira's performance. I didn't care for the song. but I didn't like none of the songs. But Nymphia's song is the one that will easily go play on TikTok. Easy. I uh, they, I I they they it. It. So what does that matter? Huh? I felt like Nifia's they song gave me, a Nitra, gave me a Nitra song last year. That win thing, it was just it the, for me. It was I don't even remember it. I just remember that it was it just kept repeating the same thing, and I kept finding six second blocks in it, and I was like, "That's a transition video. That's a transition video." People are gonna redo this moment. Like there were a couple of those with her song. I, mean, other two. Well, I hear what you're saying, but I feel like any. I mean, you you still made it to top three. Any of those songs, if people like, if Ebby being our TikTok queen on this panel, if Ebby want to do Safira song, Ebby gonna do Safira song because she she was top three. True. Ebby likes Safira, so I understand what you're saying, but I just think a fan is a fan is a fan, and if, if they gonna pick Safira song, they are gonna pick Safira song. You know. All right, let's go through these um, entrance looks. These are in no particular order. They're only in the order in which I have uploaded them. So if they're out, if they're out of order, they're in no particular order. Just I mean, so all these know. people want no shade. All these people went home. So right, yeah. Hershey looked gorgeous. I loved the look. I loved the hair. I loved the nails. I thought it was beautiful. What do you guys think? I like it. Her hips was out. She looked amazing. Yes, her hips was out. She was I need giving- to know who does her uh, her flesh tones on her gowns. Because we need the to have a conversation. Is impeccable. Yes. <laughs> we need to have a conversation because that looks like her chest. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Them arms and that chest look the same. And you know, yes. it is hard for us to not look like we, you know, a little bit lighter than us. Okay, okay, it definitely gives yeah. only ashy, and we always pay it because we know it's way too expensive. Like, no right. shade, I cannot afford to get that. Like, I, I just know I can't. Like, it should be crazy. Everything um, being co- in coffee color. We just okay, coffee. and I would just have to deal. But yeah, this was uh, this was lovely. Uh, right. That that blue on our black skin is always. <laughs> Oh, I love that. And blue is my favorite color. So I know, no, um, I I know you. Cheeks. I know you like that. Kiss my cheeks. That blue is my favorite color. Like <laughs> how do you think? How you like this look? Kiss my cheeks. I know you behind the picture, Mom. So I'm, I'm gonna rearrange us so we so we all take our turn being behind the picture. But. <laughs> I like the blue in the hair the best. I thought that really made the outfit pop and make it. I thought it was cute. Yeah. Gown. So I was like, I liked how she put all that together. Okay. All right. Again, in no particular order, also, this is uh Queen of Flips. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're okay. I was just a little quick note, not necessarily even about Hershey's, but you know, <laughs> normally we see these finale gowns and they've had a clean year and a half to get these together. They clearly did not have that much time for these, so I tried to give people grace in judging them. One in particular, I'm glad you did because I don't have any grace. There's well, just one in they didn't have the amount of time to go get a designer like they would have normally. I don't Can care. I ask a question real quick before mm-hmm. we go to the pictures? Why didn't they have a grand finale, you know, in the auditorium with the audience? Like, why would yeah. they? Have, you know? 
because it seemed kind of like we know we about to play in y'all face, so y'all just sit right here. We ain't going to do too mm, much. No idea. I don't know. All right, I tried to get a better a better angle of the Queen of Flips outfit, but this this is this is what she was given. Um, I wasn't crazy about this aluminum foil situation. What do you guys? What do you guys I, think? I personally thought that she was if there was like a top three of the eliminated girls, she's one of my three. I was gonna say this is probably one of my favorite of the eliminated she girls' was. looks. Now her, but her, let me say this though: I think her face and hair. And maybe it's just the angle I got. I don't know, but I think her face and hair was gorgeous. I, I her mug was was uh, <sighs> that mug was. Did Jada I paint think, this? I think this is probably the runway she intended before that designer fucked her over. Yeah, because this. I mean, it definitely looked better than half of her runway looks from the season. I will. I will say. Yeah, she definitely got to go home and get this. Um, I, this for me, I, and because we got to see it in motion, I would probably argue that this does not. Um, photograph well also no shade maya we also knew how much you really wasn't like trying to do too much for this because you did not corset for this gown <laughs> which means she said girl i'm about to go sit yeah. down i don't care that much which okay. i don't blame you um comfort comfort no shade i'm not even that mad but i caught it um but this is <sighs> that yeah. face looked like jada painted it no shade like maya if you did that, you Hell, did did that. but did that look like a jada essence hall face Jada, you in the background somewhere? Because we know we you, we know we got the uh that you painted silky for her finale. Okay. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Which is crazy because Silky one of the best painters in the franchise for the black girls. Oh. Mm. And okay. I meant that. All right. Well, here we go. Uh, next um is um I'm mandatory not... meeting. I don't like the color. I, I like the lighter fuchsia, better. like on her arms. It doesn't look good in the light. I think the color looks very dull. I don't know if it's the lighting or if it's the shade, but I mean, it it it's probably the best she's looked all season. But that's not saying know, much. Help me! I'm driving. <laughs> no, I mean that's the thing is it's not horrible. Like it's. It's, it's not great. horrible. It's just not great. It is there. All right. Well, I wonder if this hit better. Okay. I'm just glad we can't see her. She ain't got that damn breastplate on with gaffing it. Yeah. Yeah. I just Lord. wonder. Um, I wonder if these colors look better in person. No. <laughs> Because yeah. we know the you know the RuPaul's drag race stage lighting be Abby said no. She just the, she did the not stage ever. lighting be destroying people's fantasies. All right, well, let's move on to the next one. Tsunami Muse. I liked it. I love that. I had to get into this it the first like time I went went to me, and I don't like that. Well, all like a floral bouquet to me. I loved it, especially from the back. When you say I love your dress, especially from the black, it's ugly. Uh, oh, oh, oh! I don't think this is bad. I think this is a um an interesting um shape. <laughs> the silhouette is confusing. Um, okay, the same that. the same way Maya's dress. I feel like Maya's dress looks better in movement. I feel like this probably looks better in a picture. I can see that. I can. No, see it that. doesn't. It's the structure. I, I really like oh my it. God. Um, I will say I appreciate that she gave us a textured quaff hair. I lived for the when I realized that was textured hair, I said, You better come in there with some some black hair, bitch. Mm-hmm. I was here for it. Real ethnic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All that right. face is good though. That face is, whoo, that face is stamped. <laughs> Heavy right. over it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, um Chop. Right. I love the wig. Chop. I love the wig. Yeah, I didn't like this at all. Yeah, this is this was was so girl. This thing was great show girl. I was not here for this at all. But my thing is, if you're gonna go show girl like this, and you know you're about to sit around. I'm sorry, I know where Where's show girl at? Where's do... show girl at? Right, because I know she normally don't do a big old titty situation. But girl, did well, y'all already know how I feel about the flat chest? I hate the flat I chest. I hate it. it. I hate it. I hate it. Especially because, like, especially in a gown situation. That's one thing I love. Jamar gonna always give us some titties. Okay, a little cleavage here. A little yes. 
Yes, Jamar gives us the bouncy bounce. I wish I, I wanted to get a, a close up look because um, she looked good. I was here for this. She she looked gorgeous. This what is how you that? do little titties proportionately. Yeah, but she eat, but she got a bump. It's not just straight flat. It's There's a, a bump. like the reality yeah. is there are you know women are a cups. I'm okay with that, but yep. nothing at all is my problem. So yes, I can agree. She giving us a little bump. It ain't much. It ain't a lot, but it's a little something. Like a cup. I don't know. Know. One thing showed you the titties she needs. She threw it at my. <laughs> She did. She did take them titties off and throw them. She did. She did. And did. Anybody uh, this else? Is, this is gorgeous. Uh, yeah. I mean, the lady face is always painted for the gods. I don't know who this is, y'all. So I'm going to put it up on the screen. Actually, I think I know who it is. And I don't know if that's who I want to put up yet. What you mean? You know, the whole fuck? I'm what, you got in, what you got in this docket, honey? I'm screaming. I already know who it is. Oh, yes, Don. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. The mega evolution. I, okay. I, I don't know what Don was doing, thinking. I don't. I don't know what any of this was supposed to be. This gives me very much Winx Club tease. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This was just like I get. I, I tried to we get it. <laughs> it was just such a departure from like it felt like such a departure from all the other weird shit she's done, which is crazy to say, but like oh girl, it is a Digimon. It's definitely giving a Digimon. Mm. You know what? I think it's slide slide she probably slide slide this due to the uh uh the okay. copyright. I would have came out in full if you're gonna do space, I would have came out in full buzz like your fantasy. If you gonna <laughs> something, Abby, you got nothing. You got nothing. I said when she when you first put that picture up, it's a chop. Moving on. <laughs> All right. Damn. All right, Megami. <laughs> Did anyone catch her fall or her stumble? No. Uh -uh. Oh yeah, she she stumbled to the left. And I stumbled. <laughs> But I did not. I thought Megami looked okay. I didn't think it was horrible. I didn't think it was great. I thought it was okay. I don't like horrible. Um, I wish, cape, I wish this cape. I wish this cape was of a lighter material, so it kind of gave a little more ethereal. It was real heavy, like it looked heavy. And I, don't, I didn't like that. Um, it was okay. Now I did not dress. find pla I could not find plasma because um I, and let, let me tell y'all I wasn't putting that much more energy into it. I went to her page, I didn't see it, and I moved on. So I don't, I'm, I'm sorry we don't have plasma. I think that's the only one I'm missing. Am I missing anybody else that y'all could think other than the top three? We about to do the plasma next. looked amazing. Plasma did look good. Um, yeah. So we're gonna just go to the top three. Was there anyone um, else? Oh, Q. So plain J. Oh, I didn't have Q either. Damn, I missed. I'm sorry, y'all. Q had um, Q had this exact same costume on, except it was in blue and it was more flowy at the bottom. Okay. Q was walking like well, you know how Q be walking. She looks so. Much <laughs> Q was Q like was clomping. Did you see Q fucked up the choreography on the group? I I said, damn Q. Damn. I did not see Wait. it. And Q, this is why they eliminated your ass because they knew you was not gonna be able to give us no final number, girl. No, because That's I was like, exactly I know y'all had more time it. to practice. I know y'all had more time to practice, and it was less pressure than when y'all were on the show, and you still fucked it up. Because she showed it go right in between them people. I need to go watch it again. Oh, go watch it again. Yeah, it was all, I mean, she I was, was like, who off, was that? Was like, oh, she was cute. off step. She was in the wrong place. Like, she it was, was pretty bad. It was bad. Damn, it damn. was pretty bad. And here's the thing. They, they filmed all them numbers at least twice. Right. Which means that was the best take, man. <laughs> or, or, or was it? Oh, well, maybe not. They've done all right. Too. Here's Plain Jane. How do you guys feel about Plain Jane's um, runway look for the finale? She wore a bodysuit with a piece on the bottom of it. Yeah, because she lifted that up and that was a bodysuit underneath. <laughs> oh, she lifted that up. I was pissed. You know, this has been a, a, a critique that I know some, I've seen some other Drag Race content creators make, and I'm inclined to agree. Um, Plain's closet is just full of random outfits and concepts. Because if you look at all of her, or if you look at her runway package, 
what is the common thread here? There isn't one. She has well, this her common thread uh, is horror. It, but it's, it's not but even it's like horror. This, this, and it then not, there's the eyeballs last the last episode. I don't know what them eyeballs were doing. And then we got the, the, the chromatic bimbo, I think. And then we had the green gown that was like couture and gorgeous, she said. It was yeah, like, like her her like there's no point of view to her looks. It's just I like this, so I put it on. Which you, I, I can't be too mad about that because that's kind of how Angela's uh, point of view is, but I at least keep it tailored to uh, more of like a church lady um, level conservative in terms of dress. So, like, I've never worn a bodysuit ever. Um, and even if I did, I would probably have a peplum on it or I would have thigh high boots so that you really don't see too much skin. Um, but, like, yeah, there's no point of view to her looks. Like, and then she opened it and it was just her puss, and I was like, oh. They're not bad, but they're just like not I've, good. I've, they're, they're, they're not they're, exciting. They're, they don't inspire you to do something else. But they don't. They're not cohesive. There it is. That's <laughs> yeah. There's no cohesion to her package. These would yeah. probably be better for somebody that we that have similar looks in their closet. But it's like these are just random to me. Not yeah. bad, but just random. <laughs> well, all right. Well. <clears throat> Oh, real quick. Uh, when she peed. Came out as a banana and then was peeled. I I mean, I, this is it, this is where she was supposed to do it. I'm not mad about it. It was good. Like she looks I mean, gorgeous. She's, listen, unlike unlike what we just got finished saying about Plain Jane, there was definitely a, a, a theme, a cohesiveness. There was a vision, whether we liked the vision or not. There was a vision. She started with bananas and ended with bananas. I mean, what I, you gonna? I do? can't take it away from it. Yep. I mean, the piece looks nice now. It looks good. It looked expensive as hell. Yeah, it looked good. Like I think, even though I didn't want, her, even though she wasn't my my pick to win, the bitch looked good. I can't take nothing from her now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to reiterate my feelings about bananas. They are disgusting. Bananas yeah, are great. Don't be a Bananas are great. I'm bananas are bananas horrible. Bananas. And why would you? They they're smell great. like vomit. Yeah. Ebony, don't they? They do not. They do. To you, I love bananas. That's okay, what I'm saying. Give me a good old banana. To you, I'm telling you how I feel. Bananas are nasty. Bananas, bananas are, are delicious. Oh, um, by himself. oh, real quick, oh, Janae. And that's, wow. and that's a hill I'm willing to die on. Bananas oh, poor banana slander. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's okay. Nymphia doesn't even eat bananas either, so it's fine. She is a banana, so it all applies to her. Moving on. Oh. Uh, real quick, though, um, really be Janae asked a question of what cities I perform in here in Michigan. So uh, typically I am in uh, either Grand Rapids, Lansing, um, Really, those two are the main ones. Um, and then whoever else will book me. Uh, so if you follow me on Instagram, I try to post when I have public shows. Um, I do luckily get booked for a lot of stuff that are just not public shows, um, like college campuses and stuff. So I can't always post those because they're like closed to whoever they're for. But I will make sure I post them. Anyway, sorry, we can get back to the... No, you're fine. To the lyrics. And then we have... My Michael. God. We have Girl. Michael. Why? Oh, Lord, I'm getting mad all over again. I'm this, angry. This is where I want to again cuss out Monet and, and Trixie. Oh, uh, what did they say about this? What did they say about this? Like, oh, it's too big. It looks bulky. I wouldn't wear it. You could wear it because you, you can't, can't wear, wear it. it. That you don't have, his entire you don't have, have the capacity or the presence to carry it. Wait. So therefore, but, you can never wear it. Moving on. But Monet's purple dress is a Monet's purple finale dress on All Stars was almost this much fabric. And what about Trixie's poodle dress that she had for her finale? Hello? That's why I said a pox on both the bubble-headed bitches' houses. Also, See, this that's is why cool. I didn't watch that finale. That's why I didn't watch that pissed up because I say I just feel like this. I'm already just upset about this episode. That pi- yeah. That pissed out was giving um World and Wonder wanted to make sure that the world was happy with their winner. Um, no shade. No, um, man. it very much gave y'all come in and do this job the way we need y'all to do it. Um, because they knew that they knew how this was gonna look. Mm-hmm. If I'm playing Jane, 
especially if I'm playing Jane. Nymphia at least had her concept. I'm sitting back there in a rhinestone bodysuit with a, a, a bottom piece on it that opens up. And I see this woman walk out here and she can't barely even move her fucking head because all of this opulence is all over the place. Girl, I would have just packed it up. Opulence. You uh, everything. Everything. Thank y'all for that. I hope y'all will not leave me hanging. All right. So (laughs) then. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I did have. Hold on. Who's this? Whose look is this? That's an infamous performance. Oh, never mind. All right, that's next. I'm sorry, so. my bad. That's next. Okay. Well, then we have Sasha motherfucking Cole. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh. Sasha Sasha's is the only bitch I've ever seen wear a gown and still be topless. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, gown. It's okay. The, it's the okay. details of this waist piece for me that are dripping. Like the oh yeah, and Ooh, her performance yeah. was great. Her she did Meg the Stallion. Her I was here for it. I loved it. I thought it was a great performance. She definitely was flinging that ponytail all up and through, honey. She was fighting that was with that promo. fan though. That, was that fan promo. was not in her favor. Listen, but she's a professional. She like next to Violet Chachi for best. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, I'm sorry, I didn't edit that picture, but that's her and her performance for her. That's her performance outfit. I did. I did not enjoy this performance outfit as much. Oh no, definitely wasn't given this, but I was here for the performance. I was here for the performance. This was at, whoo, the headpiece. My God. Like the headpiece yeah. alone. <laughs> it's the fact that the bra, the bra, the bra pieces, the bra jewelry is coming off the headpiece. My God. Girl, that lady yeah, is wearing the like, of my I, house, I, I don't even know other way to say this. This is just. Ooh. She she's wearing the value of my home on her on the stage. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. My God, the yeah. beating, and then the beating and the stonework all over the dress. The stones mm. that are dripping off that look collar. The co- oh, it almost looks like she's sitting on this thing. Like I just, oh, she's emerging from the water. I just, oh. Thank you. And if you girl, oh. you better come out in like a organic banana bitch sorbet. <laughs> uh, Not a banana sorbet. <laughs> some like a banana split sorbet in, in the in the cup or something, girl. Make Cause, sure. Cause that's what I'm also sad we are deprived of. We oh. are also deprived of oh. a Safira hand down look. Oh. You know what? Y'all have a great night. I just got because off. I hadn't thought about that just now. Y'all have a blessing. I have to go because I just got no, angry wait, all wait, over wait, again. But wait, hold on. But there's a there's a caveat. There's a caveat. If she's called for All Stars, inevitably, we'll get to see more looks. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. Now, you know, with All Stars, most of the girls kind of know who's on there. Bitch, if I hear a peep. That Safira is on an All Star season with me. Y'all can kiss my ass. Okay, I look, wait till next year. Can we just say <laughs> it? Can we just say it? Safira in her main season brought an All Stars worthy package. She did. Hello. She did. So Plain Jane gave us this bodysuit uh, performance. First of all, we know Plain Jane was not the best dancer, so I really wasn't expecting a lot. And like I said, I wasn't crazy about the song. I could see if she had gotten critiqued all season about bodysuits, but she didn't. She got away with it. She got away with wearing the bodysuits all season. So for me, it wasn't it wasn't the tongue in cheek that I think they were looking for because of course Michelle Visage knew that it was it was aimed at her. If it had been like I feel like if Jane had gotten that critique throughout the season, then I think it would have been a little more like, okay. I mean, but the reality I is she, that was never her critique. Yeah. I mean, the reality is she probably did get the critique and they chose not to show it to us then it still doesn't hit you know what i mean like if the audience never saw it then it still doesn't hit i agree with you i think it's because the audience called her out for bodysuits more so than the show did um but it didn't really land but that's why when michelle said that i said i wonder if michelle said it to her and she didn't um like they just didn't show it to us I, I was I agree with Michelle 
critique of the performance. I said, girl, had you revealed into like five different bodysuits? Now that. Oh, yeah, that would have been, yeah. That would have ate. I, that would have been funny as hell. That would have been on break because, you know, she's very much like, you know, got the little gag, a little, you know, nudge, nudge. a little tongue in cheek. So I was like, girl, you only had one bodysuit. Right, and the whole song about all these bodies, so she, yeah, it should have came. And the thing is, she's supposed to be like her whole thing is about being a hoe, girl. She should have revealed all the way down until that bodysuit was so itty bitty, teensy weensy, what nothing showing but uh, literally a strap like okay. one of the little V strap bodysuit, you know, only covers your, your hoo ha and your, the top. Yeah. Uh, go back oh. to what what Laganja did in that physical lip sync. Just okay, a, okay, that an applique one. in your in your private ear, just an applique. Just an applique. <laughs> or oh, oh, a Trinity to Tuck. A Trinity to Tuck would have tore that shit up too. Okay, because it would have been bodysuit after bodysuit after bodysuit, yeah. And speaking yeah. of Trinity to Tuck, I know I wasn't here last week when y'all did the 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 lip of stinker palooza, whatever the fuck. The but I need excuse me, excuse me, morphine. I need you to go to the Trinity Tuck School of Tucking because I am sick of all the meat. Like I, get it, <laughs> I get it that maybe oh, it's just too right. much. Oh, maybe it's too much to tuck. I don't know, but Megami, her tuck is always meaty, and maybe it's just too much. I don't know. You mean but, morphine? I mean that's what I mean. I mean morphine. My bad, morphine. It's just I mean, and when I was looking at that lip sync, like honestly, I was like, ain't nobody. So nobody gonna say nothing. Like nobody all season gonna say nothing about this media as tough. Again, they probably they probably did, and we just didn't see the critique, and they she just didn't do nothing about it. I'm gonna stop giving them credit for maybe they did. No, I no until I see it, they didn't. Fair enough. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not saying that you. I'm just saying in general. No, I'm with you. No, I'm, hey, I'm, I, I don't disagree with you. <sighs> all right, this was Nymphia's performance. What and go. What's happening here? There was a lot of wind. I was bored as fuck. I was, yeah, that's why I said it reminded me of Anitra. I was like, Anitra was so sickening and just like as a performer, but her song and shit just felt so disconnected and just. Uh, I wanted so much more. Yeah. I was like, girl, we're not off to a great start. Especially because yeah. this was how we opened, and she really didn't do nothing except get carried around. Her airplane, Jane. I said, oh girl, somebody, Safira, please save us. And then she did. Um, and they played in her face. That was disrespect. That was <laughs> I mean, because if, we, if this had to be, a, if this was an episode, this was not the finale and it was an episode, there is a hands down clear winner of this episode. Without, like, like unequivocally. I want y'all to go back and look at Safira's uh, performance and look at the queens in the audience. Baby, right. living up. Gags. Stood up, screaming, screaming. I'm like, judges. Talking about. Yes, Okay, yeah, Maddie was up. Maddie stood for this lady, like, girl. And the thing is, we watched. We watched on the screen. Like, you couldn't take that from us. It didn't even matter if y'all tried to edit it. The energy was just undeniable. undeniable. Yeah, like, girls. Because I put on the uh, the drag rates. You know, comment section yesterday evening, and I, I forget what it was. No, somebody had said something about because somebody was like, Safira was robbed, and they was like, How are you gonna say Safira was robbed? Uh, Nifia never had to lip sync, and we just saw Safira lip sync a couple episodes ago. And my thing is just, just like, Are y'all, are y'all like stupid or something? Like, right, are you okay? Like, it, that's not. Like... <laughs> Are y'all watching the same show? It's like when did y'all? When did I ever see somebody uh, supposed to be today? Like when did y'all ever see uh, Nipia lip sync? I'll wait. I said, when did you ever see Nipia get a fourth win? When has being in the bottom? When did Nipia get a second win? That was right because that last win they gave her that she. I don't think. To her. Yeah, I don't think she deserved that last win that um, Nipia got. I feel like they just they gave it to her to justify moving her to the top four. It was real awkward. I mean, even in that episode when they're sitting there telling Safira. The, the personality you gave was amazing. It was like sitting right there next to you. I could listen to you talk all day. And then told other homegirl, well, it was nice to hear from you for the first time. You win. Like, girl, what? Bye. Right. They, they, had, they, couldn't they gave it to her because they couldn't justify her winning the whole thing if this girl had won that last. Yep. 
They yeah, that's what I'm saying. They gave it to her. Like, what are y'all talking so about? They gave the honoree award to Elvira. Can I say I didn't take a picture because she wasn't dressed up as Elvira? So I was like, I'm not. I think I'm she is currently in this thing at the the in her career where she is trying to show up as her and make sure that people remember her actual name versus just knowing her as Elvira. Because I've seen her a lot in a lot of stuff recently, and for like the last four or five months, everywhere she showed up. She has not been introduced as Elvira, and she has not been in Elvira drag. She shows up as herself. That's great, but the problem is you were being honored. We know Elvira. Put the dress on, daughter. We don't know. You were being honored as Elvira. You were being honored, as Elvira. You were being honored for your your career at a drag show, mm -hmm. yeah. and you did not show up in drag. Like I get it. RuPaul will tell you in a minute. Y'all gonna get RuPaul Charles unless y'all are paying for RuPaul. I understand that. And she feel she, like it. And the, right. but and the price in that tag instance, is upward of $20,000. But in that instance where that is literally what you're being honored for, I'm sorry. I felt like she could have gave us Elvira. I, I'm sorry. I'm just... I, I was kind of surprised she walked out there not as Elvira. I got it, but I was like, oh, okay. Because, I mean, you say... you say, I mean, I, I and I know you're... I understand what you're saying, but you want to be known as... Like, ma'am, that is what your whole career. I'm sorry. Like, now is not the time to be like, I don't want to be known as Elvira. Why? Why? What? Why? Even yeah. the outfit that she wanted to come out and be herself. Out. The outfit that she had herself was bad. Well, that's true. No, too. that I agree with that. She did look. She, she did look like she woke up and was like, "Oh, I guess I better head on down it here." It definitely more. looked like they were like, "Hey, you got to go do this today," and she said, "All right, let's go." Yeah, it definitely looked like. Oops, I forgot I had to do this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, we already talked about this a little bit. Miss Congeniality. There was a co-winner, Tsunami Muse, and um, Safira were the um, Miss Congeniality. I called that. I don't. I don't know what the spirits told me. Angela, keep me honest. I've been saying on that panel. I said something tells me Miss Muse is gonna get this. I phone. mean, I called it too. I said, yeah, we both said that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I picked it up from watching a bunch of those. Um, uh, 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 the Roscoe's lives. Um, yeah. most of the girls' way that they talk about her it was kind of clear. Um, this was also the second moment from a production note, uh, where you knew Safira was not going to win the crown when she got dual crowned as a congeniality as a top three contestant, which, like Jamar said, has not happened since season one. And I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't take a picture of what's the face because she looked like a monchi chi to me, and I just didn't get that picture. Who? Who was the Miss Congeniality from last season? Oh, uh, Malaysia. 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 She looked like a monchi. Do y'all know what a monchi chi is? No, yes. I do not. She looked like a monchi chi. I am internally I I screaming fit. at Monchi. I thought her outfit looked amazing. Monchi, Chi, Monchi, Chi. Oh, I think she was giving. Me. She was giving me. I'm going to bed. That's. I checked out. I'm checking out. I'm going right back. To bed. She was giving me fashionable Chewbacca. Okay, fashionable Chewbacca. What up, T Lounge table? American Eagle, uh, and Africa. But it's still right. Good, oh, so soft and cut. See, T Lounge know it. Y'all, listen, y'all don't know Monchi Chi? Google it. Monchi Chi, Monchi Chi, oh, so nice and cuddly. I can't do this with you anymore. I'm going to bed. Here's my bonnet. I'm going to bed. I'm checking it. Because you are out of control. You're completely a Monchi Chi is like a, it's like a monkey and something. I don't know, but that's what she looked like to me. <laughs> Did you just, a monkey? Yo. Really, do you have to be stopped? What? Uh -uh, hold on, I'm about to hold on. I'm about to Google my. She is no longer really be. She has morphed into her alter ego. Gotta be. Don't you say it. She gotta be now. So y'all best leave. <laughs> That's the one that like to cuss people. <laughs> That's a monster. <laughs> I remember those. I had one of those as a kid. I used to love that thing. 80s toy. Yeah. See, this right here. This right here is why they call you Bully B. <laughs> I'm not bullying. They go Profit. Profit, you know what I'm getting ready to tell you to do, Profit. Listen. That is what she looked when she came around that corner. I said, what? I said, what is that supposed to be? 
I live probably for said it. that they wanted her to dress like an eagle, but why? That's my kind of carry on. I ain't gonna hold you. But why did they want her to dress like this? This feels problematic. So, <laughs> gotta, awful dog. I'm sorry. I know that might gotta, not be politically gotta, correct, but that is what she yeah. looked like to me. Now, I can say that. That is it. Yes. Yes. We gotta go. <laughs> We got to fast forward. To match the red, white, and blue thing. There was a red, baby, white, and blue thing? I'm this, is giving, this is giving uh, a baby Wookiee. Okay, this is baby Wookiee. Wait a minute. There was a red, white, and blue thing last night? Did Maybe they did that, that dance that Q messed up on. Oh, I, you know what? Can I... I fast forwarded through that. I, I didn't watch that. Oh my god! I watched I mean, the beginning of it and I saw what it was giving. And after Q couldn't even do it one two step, I was like, I'm not getting ready to suffer was, through the rest of this shit. I'm not. It was, it was literally. Q literally two, three, was four, like step two three four step two three four. Know that girl can't it, was bad. it was listen. I wish I could. It was bad. Go back and look at it, Jamar. If I'm lying, tell me. You can tell me, but I. It was clear that, and I wasn't even looking for Q to fuck up. It was just there. I mean, some other fun <laughs> things to note. It just some happened. other fun things to note. Um, so let's see. Q want, Q also wore the same thing for that part that she did her walkout. Um, uh, Morphine wore the same dress that she wore for her makeover challenge with a little piece added to the side of it. I don't even remember. I said, oh, I've seen some of these before. So that was that. So then we had the elimination. Plain Jane. Well, we talked to the, the family. That was cute. Whatever. Great. Yeah. Whatever. Um. Oh, Nephew's mother won this for her. Ooh. We don't care. Moving on. And then, um, and then we had the elimination. So Plain Jane was eliminated. It came down to. Uh, uh, not Tracy. I want to She. It came <laughs> down to Nymphia and um. <laughs> Well, her name is Sophia. Sophia. The final like lip sync, which I felt like. I mean, I understand Nymphia pulled some tricks out. She did. I ain't gonna lie. Nymphia pulled a few tricks out, but I still think the overall performance of the night has. Oh, and, and then the overall performance of the season. It just has to go to for me, Sophia. I'm sorry. That's am I, I, and and I'm biased, sure, but I ain't changing. No, you're not I agree. I think the problem the damn RuPaul got her big head, bobble headed ass up there and decided in her infinite wisdom <laughs> that she wants to piss on her whole uh, audience and, and act like we blind as fuck and didn't see what we've seen all goddamn season and, and pick this little banana headed bitch to be the winner when she shouldn't have been. We all know she shouldn't have been. Thank you and good night. You was. Wrong. I mean, most of the comments are even out there. You are wrong. I mean, most of the comments out there are even saying like, "Oh, we're happy we have the Asian winner," but the episode didn't give that. Child, we don't give a damn about her being Asian. I, mean, I don't give a damn about her being Asian either. Personally, I didn't give the same way. I really didn't give a damn about Safira being black. Like she just had better drag to me. Right. I'm a, and and I agree. Like for me, I just think she was the better out of the three. Again, <laughs> like period. Uh, again, yeah, I tried to say I was doing the same. I would have felt the same way last year. I never used, one listen. And... None of us ever used the word black this whole night. None of us said we rooting for the black person. We none of us said we were black because she was black. Like I honestly just think <laughs> she was the better option. Listen, oh listen. Let me tell you the best just so happened to be black. Just so happened to be black. Me. Y'all gonna I'm fucking stop dying it. at. I'm sorry. I'm dying at this dude Monchi Chi for Snatch Game. I'm screaming. Oh, I'm gonna oh, do oh, match game. I'm gonna do ah. Munchie. I'm gonna do Munchie Chi, but just create the character as Willie B. <laughs> I'm gonna just be you up there as this Munchie Chi. It'd be great. But but we but what we absolutely you know what I agree with the T Lounge. I feel like what we're gonna have. I feel like the backlash is gonna be on such a level that when Sophia comes back for All Stars, it's gonna be like okay, she got it. Like this, like, 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 like when Shea Kool Aid came back to All Stars, we absolutely knew nobody else was winning. Well, when Saucy yeah. Kobe last season, we absolutely knew. You know, I'm not saying that. Will I will say Shay's win was not necessarily as forecasted. Shit. 
I don't know what you was looking it, at. It was, but the thing is, Shay didn't uh -oh. perform as well as Johnny, they hoped that she would. That part. And it was kind of like, well, <clears throat> because, I mean, if, as far as, like, who did the best in that particular season, I, it was Miss Cracker. But we right, didn't because, like Ms. Cracker like that. So Exactly. Gotta... <laughs> and I think that's what it boils down to. Because there were a couple of, there were a couple of moments, like, that whole thing with she had zero stars and then all of a sudden in two episodes not only did she have more stars than everybody i mean she she equaled everybody she ended up with more stars i was like now what the they, fuck they, just they happened here Shay. and they like to they like to carry the shape but now with when it was the sasha people try to say like it was the, uh uh shay kool-aid getting robbed in season nine i mean granted we we expected Shay to win that we sure did, but she lost that lipstick. Like I ain't seen nobody lose a lipstick. I was getting ready to say I was. And I was actually saying, lost. I think, yeah, I don't <laughs> think Sasha got robbed. Like I I, I mean Shay Kool got. I don't think Shay got robbed. I mean to be honest, she just got honest, beat. Sasha she she got Sasha beat, and that happened. Right, like, Sasha just back. beat her. This she one beat her. for me. For me, this, it literally this felt like is this time. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I was okay, you're good. For me, it felt like this time Nymphia was literally just jumping from stunt to stunt to stunt. Like there was no actual cohesion to her performance. It's like some of them girls. Maybe I am so cool. Maybe I am. I'm sorry. Maybe like um some of them people just out there just throwing stunts out, throwing stunts out, throwing stunts out with no cohesion. Like even when she pulled the thing and released the balloons, girl, what part of Padam gave you? Release black balloons out of this weird tie dye. Yeah, that was that was like I'm situation. looking for a gimmick. Yeah, that was I'm looking for a gimmick, and I can't it, end up. It didn't so, make sense. Dead butterfly. What she was on doing. Like, I know. I, I see what she was doing, but it didn't go with the song. It was kind of like how Asia did this with nasty with Janet Jackson with butterflies. She was she was literally a, a, a boba tea. Those were bobas. And she that's why her, her headpiece was like a, a cup with a straw, but it's like to put on like something so specific. It grants, I mean, it looks great, it's a great concept, but not for this song though. Right. And even um, though I, now I did like Nippy's little, you know, cut, 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 cut moment. I did like that. But I'm sorry, y'all, y'all are right. I'm getting I'm getting the two all stars mixed up. I apologize. Yeah. I'm talking about the first Shea Kool Aid, not the the last one. I apologize. Yeah, well, Shea Kool Aid had her All Star season, and some people like the thing was she walked into it, and we kind of were like, "Well, okay, we we know this is probably for you, right?" Um, but it wasn't so like, but actually watching it happen, if you weren't like an in depth fan, you actually it was a, a good season to just watch because you really weren't sure where it was gonna go, whether if it was gonna be Shay or Cracker or even possibly. I knew where it was gonna go. Juju, I mean, we, we got halfway I through it; it was glad. clear. But there were moments where the I knew from the entrance. Look, me, me and Ebby, you could probably go back when me and Ebby did the Meet the Queen. We said with her entrance look when she walked in the workroom. Me and Ebby was like, "Yeah, Shay's about to win this." I like, mean, I, I felt, like, I felt yeah. the same way too. What I mean is, like, I just enjoyed the ride of that All Star season. Like, it didn't. Unlike uh, last season of Regular Drag Race, where we were just watching other people compete around. Sasha Kobe, at least with the Shea Kool Aid one, other people could hold hold <laughs> something to her. They were they were other people present in the room with Shea Kool Aid with Sasha Kobe. Last okay. season, no. I just I don't know. This win just felt it felt like they were catering to the the children online who are not going to go watch Nymphia perform, who cannot... They're not, and that's the thing. If if you... And I mean, I know all of us on this panel feel the way we feel, but the average fan, I think... I and Even, I mean, across, uh, you know, the average fan, if, if Nymphia, Safira, and Plain Jane are coming to your town in three different, different shows, and you only have money for one show, which show are you going to? I mean, all the people who look like yeah, us are going, going to, to see... Sephira. We're all going to go see Safira... But also, I mean, here's the thing when it comes to drag, and I'm going to be the one. Um, when it comes to drag, especially uh, drag from the people who look like this versus the ones who look like this, um, we already know what it is at the end of the day. Um, I can't go out there and do crunchy dancing. I can't get out there and, and give... Yes, you can. Beyonce let you do it now. You can do it. Beyonce, just just, just do Texas Hold'em. You can get away with it. I still can't give crunchy dancing. 
No, oh, I thought black. you said country. I'm not no, bad. No, 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 I thought no, no, you no. said country. No, 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 country. Yeah, no, I can't do country. <laughs> I was like, what? No, I can't do crunch. I can't do crunchy <laughs> dancing. I can't be off rhythm. I can't. I she's like country. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, I mean I don't do country music anyway. Um, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. But, you, but but I can't do that. I can't go out there and my body look crazy. I can't go out there. I won't get paid. I won't get tipped as a, a as a black entertainer. Um, Plain Jane can walk out there and never once step on beat, and the people will eat it up. But if I walk out there and and boot school, even if I just slow short and boot school. If I'm not on beat with every single movement, my tips are going to start to fall away. It's unfortunate, but the reality is people will go watch Nymphia just to watch her flail around. But Safira will give what she gave on the stage today, and people will just kind of be like, because it's expected. It's expected of us to be Beyonce level. And it's just I, I mean, I know you do it. I mean, I know you're in the clubs and you do it, but in my experience, I've been in mixed crowds, and I mean, they go up. I'm sorry. They go up. For for the color girls. Oh yeah, because we be out there doing because we, we know we have to work twice as hard to be half. To, so we it's don't show up. Against the ground. We don't show up unprepared. Right. We don't show um, up unready. Just as a side note, um, what's my girl's name? Now I can't think of her name. Back rows. What's my girl's name? Alyssa Edwards. Alyssa, Edwards. Alyssa. Alyssa Edwards is on tour, and um, mother went to go. Well, my mentor, mother. Uh, Spiller Boy TV. He went to go see it. Um, see her show last week. Number one, it was sold out, and he said it was absolutely oh, I bet. wonderful. Oh, I uh, bet. Latrice, he went to Latrice's show last summer, which I was jealous because I wanted to go. But he said that her show was was just it was packed. Oh, I bet. It, was, it was so good. It was so good. But you know, you just named two of them old school drag legends who one know what they're doing, two know how to turn you know out a show. And I'm looking forward to um, looking at we're here with the new cast. I'm interested in seeing that. Okay. And we know that um, Wild Presents is doing the behind the backstage of the of the RuPaul show. Um, I don't have the app, but I mean, if, if who's going to watch it? I'm going to watch what, it. What I have it. it I'll, I'll give you mine. I'll give you what, mine. what app is it on? Is it on Wild Presents? It's going to come on Wild Presents Plus for the... Um, oh. For the show, we also have All Stars coming in a month, which I think really? must... All Stars is coming in a month. Oh yeah, they announced yeah. there was a quick little thing in the episode, but yes, All Stars. I must have fast forwarded through Actually, it. Actually, um, Sherry is it Sherry Shepard who will be getting to announce the cast? Yeah, yeah Sherry Shepard's one who, oh, okay. on her show. Like they'll be revealing the cast. Um, granted, if you've been watching the, if you follow RuPaul's Drag Race enough, you probably should already know who half the cast is by now. Uh, I they, do. I mean, because they throw them okay, people. Well, in your you face. Some, I mean, you want to wait till we get backstage and throw the names out, I mean, or you can go ahead and throw them out. I'm. I mean, for me, casting cast orders aren't really as you know as heavy as like elimination orders. But I'm not particularly thrilled about this upcoming All Star season. Okay, well, tell me backstage. Tell me back. We'll, no, tell me yeah. backstage. We'll talk backstage. Yes. The sad thing is, this was the season finale, and literally we were done at 47 minutes. That should tell you right there. Oh, because it, it, it was... Uh, it just, it didn't make sense. The whole story, like every other episode, every single episode... And we didn't get a us, reunion this year. We didn't get a reunion. For what? For what? But I'm just, I'm not just saying we didn't get one. I'm just saying they, didn't, we didn't they get one. did so terribly last season that they said we don't we don't want that because all the like really, the mistresses was bad too. I mean, the reality is is because mistress and um, uh, Lux lit the spot on fire. Like they lit the joint up after they got eliminated. They basically shut down and they didn't give nothing to them people for the rest of the time. Well, Lux said she still ain't over. She said, I will probably never get over losing RuPaul's Drag Race. She I don't know. understand how she... My thing is... I don't, Lux, I don't no think she should have made it as far as she made it. So that I just, part, like, but also, Lux, let's not be delusional, girl. You were, you were standing up there next Colby. to Sasha fucking Colby. Even if, y'all were, even if you were in the top two, she would have eaten you alive. All the way. Mm-hmm. All the way. You were never winning a lip sync against that lady. Ever. Not even Ever. Anitra. Anisha was the only one who could, you know what? I'll give Mistress this. The only thing Mistress would have maybe been able to do is give presents. Mm -hmm. Where I would have wanted to look over at her while Sasha was on stage with her. But it just was like, girl, what? There was no world. I want to say this. I want to 
I'm going to give everybody a moment to give a final word, but I want to say thank you guys for being here. Thank you, Jamar. Jamar has probably mm -hmm. come on more episodes than he has been off. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't reach out to you to necessarily be on a panel because I know you already do a panel. And so I know, you know, at a certain point, you keep talking about the same thing over and over again. But we um, will definitely keep the group chat going. We'll definitely be in the group chat about doing All Stars because I'm down for All Stars. Jamar, you know, you always have a seat at the table. Um, if you, you want, you. To, if you want to become a regular, we will add your name to the thumbnail, honey. But if you just want to, you know, if you want to keep your status what it is that you can pop in when you can, you know, you are always welcome. I will always make sure that you have the link. Um, I want to thank you guys. You know, this was something we kind of threw. I kind of threw out. I reached out to Angela because I know she does this. And so I know that there's a different point of view there. Um, child, y'all know Abby, my road dog, child. That's just it. Period. <laughs> um, Abby, you know, I mean, El Teddy, y'all know that's my brother. Even when I be cussing him out, that's my brother. Um, and Kiss My Teeth was like, I like um, RuPaul too. Can I come through? I said, of course you can, girl. Come on. And yeah. I think we, um, we had a really good time, and I really enjoyed this um, panel. Yeah, shout out to um, Dee. You know, so we, um, so oh, I'm, oh gosh, how can I forget my nephew? House of D, who always gave us a theme, whatever the runway theme was, he gave us yes. some. Yes. Okay, so we definitely cannot forget uh, my boo. It's just, like I said, it's his birthday week. He's probably somewhere drunk, child. He might be on his way to a ball somewhere about the. As he should be. Right, somewhere about to walk the boots off of somebody's floor. Okay. So I'm going to start with Angela. Um, I know you said that you will post on your Instagram when you are performing. So it, let people know what your Instagram yeah. handle is and what you have going on. And we'll Absolutely. Work out so uh, for everybody, you can follow me right here. At, ooh, where is it? Here we go. Right here at Angela Roche on Instagram. Um, that is where I am. And I'll be posting when I perform. Um, you can also follow or subscribe. I two words. You can subscribe to me here on YouTube.com as well, where I uh, post reviews of different shows, but I do it from a different perspective. Uh, more so I'm talking about the camera operators and the editors and the storyline telling versus what's actually happening in the show. If you want that, you can come over to Ebby Reviews and really be, they talk about most of the same shows. They just talk about what's happening with the stuff. Um, so you can find them for that. Um, but yeah, also for this, just thank you a lot for inviting me. Um, when I kind of got into this YouTube thing, like this is kind of where I really see myself. Uh, thank you, Tracy. I appreciate you. Um, this is really where I enjoy and I find good, uh, a good space for me is doing these panel discussions. So this is kind of what I'm more so interested in versus doing my own solo content. So thank you for bringing a little old newbie me along. It's been a pleasure and I've learned, honestly, I've learned a lot, a lot through this process. So I'm excited to keep going. Okay, well, thank you so much. Kiss my cheeks, my boo. And now me and Kiss My Cheeks, we've been bonding on other shows. Child, we we were riding out traders, and um, I know she does. Well, I'm sorry, you speak for yourself, girl. What you got going on on your channel, honey? You speak for yourself. It's a lot going on. I do a lot of competition shows, Survivor, The Challenge, Traders, The Circle is back, Big Brother is right. The Not Circle gonna... is back. And, you know, a couple of reality shows, but I'm kind of over some of that. But first, I want to um, say thank you for letting me be a part of the panel. Abby knows I've been pushing my way in that back seat. I'm like, Abby, I'm going to get in that back seat. I'm going to get in that back seat. So <laughs> thank, you for, <laughs> thank you for letting me bully my way into that back seat because it's a good time over here. And I do enjoy drag, drag race. There go. There go D, y'all. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday. We want to say happy birthday, happy birthday to you. you. Hey. <laughs> Go ahead, kiss my cheeks. I'm sorry, boo. I had to cut, I cut um, you. What else? Thank you for that. Um, What else? Oh, my final thought was, was somebody put in the comments, I was a little upset that Safira went home with less money than morphine. That's ridiculous to me. But you know, mm. this RuPaul, you know, he right he, it's his rules. Um, coming up next, me and Abby did find another show to do on Wednesdays, the ultimatum in South Africa. Um it looked cut up, it looked like a bunch of mess. Me and Abby could dive into, so that'll be out May 10th, I believe. And other than that, you can catch me on all the other competition shows. 
Um, I definitely want to talk to you about maybe doing a Big Brother. I did it last season with Busy Blue. Um, <clears throat> we did it on Friday nights, and we kind of just did a roundup of the three episodes that came on during the week. Just kind of did a. Um, so I'll definitely keep you in mind if, if we decide to do that. You know, Busy. That's sort of Busy's wheelhouse. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Busy, but he's yeah, he's really cool with a lot of the people on the show. He talks to the people on the show. Julie Chen knows who he is. So oh. it's always fun um to do um it was it was fun doing the panel with him last year because he has a he has a, a different insight, but he also like he he like with the cook like he's friends with the cookout. He actually invited me to a party that um What's the one that lives here um, in DC? The 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 one the black girl. Um, what's her name? It's Aja. Aja. Aja actually had a viewing party last season. I wasn't able to make it, but he invited me. So yeah, I mean, so um, I'll keep you in mind if we decide to do it again. Definitely. Okay, let me know. All right, uh, Abby. Yes. My, you want my final thoughts? Just tell us what you got, because I feel like you're gonna cuss the show out again. What you got going on on your channel, girl? Just <laughs> okay, I guess. By the well, um, my I'm starting to ramp back up my get ready with bees. Y'all know, at being a straight man, will be back this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, right now we're doing chasing Dallas. I'm gonna find something else for us to do after that. Because my friend is a nutball. Um, uh, as a in regards to this season, do better. Don't 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 put it in front of us and play in our face like we dumb. Like we can't. Like we don't have eyeballs to see. I have four of them right now. I see you. We see you for your words. See you for your words. Okay. A pox on your house. <laughs> the box. <laughs> Jamar, what you got going on over there, bro? Yes, yes, indeed. And I, I also wanted yes. to make sure oh, that uh, I, an I answered someone's question in the comments. They said, "Oh, so you be on every live and on every panel?" <laughs> because I'm, I'm invited to do so, and I'm knowledgeable of the subject matter at hand. And when I'm not doing that, I'm creating my own content. Working my full time job to pay the mortgage on my home to answer your question. Come on, on your home. Uh, you can catch me on the Sunday panel, of which we are also paid and compensated for that over on the Maddie Ranch channel, discussing all things drag race. And you can mm. catch me on my own channel doing some interesting horror reactions. Yes, you um, do, Lord. Them, them we're horror doing, reactions. We're going to start doing some table reads soon, so I'll be back on the screen in the theater. Yes, yeah. honey. Yes. <laughs> Am I ready to sweep the girls up for season 18? Uh, no, not yet. Angela still can't sew. I need to at least be able to get through a, a tube dress and some accoutrements, at least. Come on, yeah. accoutrements? I need oh, two silhouettes. I, just, I just need I just two silhouettes. One little two piece, one little 30-second piece, I would just like to say to my male straight friends, Stop sending me this Chris Brown clip of him dissing Quavo. Well, I don't give a damn. Chris Brown can go to the ninth circle of hell for all I know. Stop sending me that shit like, ooh, he dissed him. He dissed him. Talk about, we all saw him beat up that girl in the elevator. We also saw Do not that uh, Rihanna's forehead was lumped up. And we also saw that oh. uh, that uh, Kika Kukula girl had a <laughs> Restraining order against you. <laughs> Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> Fuck you. Leave us she alone. Went we don't care. Ooh, Lord. With that, that I think it's know? time to go back. <laughs> and with that being said, I'm just gonna hit the button. I love y'all. Just hitting the button because I don't know where that came from. That just. Damn.